from the wonderful world of sports, we bring you Home Run Derby, where each week the leading home run hitters of the major leagues will compete in a home run hitting contest. You'll meet such stars as Duke Snyder, Eddie Matthews, Rocky Calavito, Ernie Banks, Mickey Mantle, Henry Aaron, Harmon Killebrew, Willie Mays, and many others. Well, hi there, everybody. I'm Mark Scott. Today on Home Run Derby, we'll see two of the greatest all-time home run hitters in National League history. Henry Aaron, our four-time champion, will meet Duke Snyder. The boys have just finished their batting practice, so let's meet them, shall we? Come on in, fellas. Henry, welcome once again. Thank you, Mark. Duke, welcome aboard. Thank you, Mark. Well, fellas, today you're going to go for the big money. The winner will receive $2,000. The loser, $1,000. As an added bonus, any time either one of you should hit three consecutive home runs, you'll receive an additional $500. You know how that feels, don't you, Henry? Yes, I do. The fourth home run in a row is worth another $500. Each successive home run after that is worth an additional $1,000. Now, as you know, you'll play nine innings. You'll each get three outs per inning. Any ball not hit out of the ballpark is an out. You don't have to swing at every pitch. But if the ball is in the strike zone and you don't swing at it, that also constitutes an out. Head umpire Art Passarella will call the strikes. Now, fellas, because there's a left-handed hitter, Duke Snyder, in today's contest, we have a special ground rule. The ball must clear. It must clear the brick wall in right field to be a home run. Any ball hit in the trees above the wall line also is a home run. Now, the reason for that is that it's 339 feet down to the right field wall, down the line, at 340 feet, down the line to the left field wall. Now, do you have any other questions? No questions, Mark. Duke? Yes, Mark, uh, how about the bleachers? Uh, do you have to hit it over the bleachers, too, or does it count if it goes into them? No, it counts as a home run if the ball goes into the bleachers in right center. The fellas, the pitchers are out there to throw the ball over the plate. They're batting practice pitchers, and they'll work every other inning. Henry is our defending champion. You'll act as the home team. You'll bat last. Duke, that means you'll lead it off, so good luck to both of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mark. Good luck to you, Duke. Same to you, Henry. We'll start Home Run Derby in just a moment. Play ball! We're all set to go here, fans. The top of the first inning, Duke Snyder going up to the plate. Hank Aaron against Duke Snyder. Two National League all-time great sluggers. No count. The ball must be in the strike zone to constitute an out and called a strike by Art Passarella. Foul ball, and that's an out. One it's out. a home run or nothing here on Home Run Derby. He had a good cut at that one, didn't he, Mark? Man, he takes that big cut. <laughs> Foul ball. Two out. Two away. Getting an old hat for you to be sitting here. This is your fifth appearance. Well, I just hope I can sit here five, through five more shows. Duke Snyder at the plate. The Duke of Brooklyn is now the Duke of Los Angeles. Fly ball into center field, and that's all for Snyder. Three outs. Failed the score in the top of the first, and the score at the end of a half inning of play. Duke Snyder nothing. Hank Aaron coming up. Duke, you've got a real tough man to go against today. Yes, he is. He's a real pro and a, quite a home run hitter. Yes, he is. You've hit a couple of home runs in your career so far. Well, Mark, I've hit quite a few. Uh, I don't uh, feel right up there today, but I hope I can whack out a couple and beat Henry. I'm sure you will. Hank Aaron, the batter. From the last half of the first, no score. Pop-up foul, out of play. One away. One out. He's a wrist hitter. Henry waits on the ball real well, and in the last minute, he pops those big wrists to his and really gets good leverage on the ball. High pop-up. Two away. Two outs. This uh, this contest here should show people that it's not as easy to hit home runs as they think it is. That's true. I fly ball, and that's all for Henry Aaron in the first inning. Three outs. And the score at the end of a half inning of play is Duke Snyder nothing, Hank Aaron nothing. Henry, you got shut out in the first. Yes, uh, 
I'm used to getting off of those slow starts, Mark. Well, maybe things will change for you I pretty hope soon. I they will. You know, I was just checking the records, and I found out that the top home run hitters in baseball only get a home run about every 12 or 13 trips to the plate. That's right. I went to plate 600 times, and I think I averaged a home run every 15 times at plate. Here's Duke Snyder. Takes the first pitch. It's not a strike. The pitch does not count. The Duke looks like he means business up there, doesn't he? He always looked mean at the plate. Duke uses a closed stance. Yeah, and he chokes up on that bat just a little bit. You know, ball players have certain idiosyncrasies. Every time after the pitch comes back to the catcher's mitt, Duke puts his hand down to the fat end of the bat. What a one. That's an out. Drops his hands down on that bat. Have you noticed it? Yeah, he he seemed to get a little bit more power on the ball like that, Mark. Two outs. Swing and a miss. And that's an out. Two away in the second. No score. Duke Snyder the batter. Foul tip. Three out. And that's all. Duke Snyder goes scoreless in the second. And the score going into the bottom of the second inning. Henry Aaron nothing. Duke Snyder nothing. Duke, were you happy with the Dodgers move to the West Coast? Well, Mark, I I sort of uh, enjoyed the move as far as uh, it being my hometown. I sort of miss Brooklyn. We have an awful lot of friends back there, and uh, I was brought up in Brooklyn, practically, as far as baseball is concerned. Well, you're playing closer to home now. Well, that's true, but uh, Brooklyn's still down at the bottom of my heart. We're in the last half of the second. No score. Round ball, one out. One away. Getting back to what I was saying about it being a little tougher to hit, even uh, in this respect, you even know what's coming, and it. sometimes it's tougher to hit home runs. It's uh, it's an amazing thing. Uh, in a game, you don't know what's coming, and I think you hit a home run about every 12 times at bat, but here you know what's coming, and you just seem to be a little bit over-anxious at times, and you, you have to swing at a strike, and sometimes that pitch is outside, and uh, you can't pull it. And that's all for Henry Aaron. Three, Three away, and the score at the end of two innings of play is Duke Snyder nothing, Hank Aaron nothing. Henry, this is the <coughs> second National Leaguer whom you've met. Having beaten your teammate, Eddie Matthews, you'll keep the championship in the National League at least. Well, I hope it stay in the National League. If I don't win it, I hope Duke's not all the luck in the world. It's a long ways to go yet here. We're in the top half of the third as the Duke settles into the batter's box. Ground ball, one out. One away. We're scoreless. The top half of the third. Duke Snyder against Hank Aaron. Two out. Foul ball. He had a cut at that one, didn't he? No wind at all here today. No, you got to hit that ball with all your power today. Don't get any help from anybody. No. High fly ball into shallow right field, and that's all for Snyder at the top of the third. And the score going into the bottom half of the third inning is Duke Snyder nothing, Hank Aaron nothing. Duke, if you could have your choice of ballparks in which you'd like to play 77 home games, which National League park would you select? Well, Mark, I believe I'd choose Cincinnati. The fences are fairly close, and the ball seems to travel real well there. Here's Hank Aaron. Line drive in the left field, and it is... Up against the wall, one out. it's one away. That'd be a good base hit in a ball game. It sure would. Left fielder might catch that ball, though. Foul ball. Two away. Two outs. No score the last half of the third. High fly ball hit deep in the left field, away back. Hits the top of the wall and bounces over for a home run. That's well, that could have bounced either way. That's that Milwaukee luck. <laughs> <laughs> One to nothing, Hank Aaron leading. And that's into left field for an out. Three outs. But Hank Aaron picks up a home run here in the last half of the third. And the score at the end of three complete, Hank Aaron won, Duke Snyder nothing. Now let's take time out for a moment. Back to home run derby and the top of the fourth inning. Here's Duke Snyder up, top of the fourth inning. Hank Aaron leading one to nothing. As an inducement to the pitchers to get the ball over the plate, the pitcher who throws the most home run balls also receives a bonus. The 
batter does not have to swing at the ball if it's not in the strike zone. One away. One out. This ballpark has been selected because it favors neither an American or a National League player. The fences are of equal distance, with no advantage to either a right or a left-handed hitter. Two out. Foul ball. Getting good wood on him, out just a bit in front. Yeah, he's out just a bit in front, and he's lining, and he's keeping his ball on the line more. High pop-up foul out of play, and that's all for Snyder. Three outs. And the score now, going into the bottom of the fourth inning, is Hank Aaron one, Duke Snyder nothing. Here's Hank Aaron, last half of the fourth, leading one to nothing. Line drive belted high and deep. Goodbye. Over the wall, it's a two-nothing ball game. Hank Aaron leading here in the bottom of the fourth. He whacked that one. He sure did. Oh, Hank got his uh, rhythm going real good there, and his wrist popped through real quick, as I said earlier. He has those terrific wrists. One away. Bouncing ball, one out. One away, the last half of the fourth inning. Hank Aaron, the batter, leading Duke Snyder now, two to nothing. Line drive to straightaway center. Two away. Well, it looked like a good catch out there, Duke. Very good. I think he trapped the ball. <laughs> no, no, he claims he got it. <laughs> well, there are two outs anyway. Bouncing ball, and that's all for Hank Aaron. Three outs. But he picked up a home run in the bottom half of the fourth inning. And the score now at the end of four complete, Hank Aaron two, Duke Snyder nothing. Henry here on Home Run Derby, the home run is the thing, and you got what a tremendous wallop. But I'll bet you anything that plays like that in the outfield, whether he caught it or trapped it, have caused many a hassle in baseball over the years. Yes, it have, but I think the umpires have done a tremendous job with calling those type of plays. They've always done a great job. Here's Duke Snyder up, top half of the fifth. Two to nothing, Hank Aaron leading. High pop-up. One out. One away. Everyone who sits here with me while you're at bat always comments about the snap of your wrists. <laughs> And there have been plenty of them sitting here with me while you've been at bat. Ken Boyer, Jim Lemon, Eddie Matthews, Al Kaline, and now Duke Snyder. Two away. Foul ball, two outs, and you've beaten them all. Well, I tell you, it's been a struggle, but uh, I've been fortunate and lucky. It's like the ball I hit and it's bounced on top of the wall and went over the fence. Of course, you still have Duke to beat. Yes, and I don't, uh, that two home runs I got, I don't feel too comfortable with that. Foul ball, and that's all for the Duke. Three outs. Goes down in the fifth inning. And the score at the midway point is Hank Aaron, two. Duke Snyder, nothing. Duke, I think you've always been known as a late starter in both the season and a ball game. Well, uh, I don't know about a ball game, Mark, but uh, I usually uh, start very late in spring training and hitting the long ball. It takes me such a long time to get my timing and... Uh, Start hitting that ball up against those fences. Well, I think you're going to start in the next inning. I sure hope so. Here's Hank Aaron. Last half of the fifth, Aaron leading two to nothing. Right through the pitcher's legs. What, what out? That chased him out of there. That's the kind you like to hit in the ball game. They're pretty tough to field, and they can get through there. And if there's a man on first base, why well, he can go all the way to third uh, rather easily on a ground ball to center field. No count, but here it's home run or nothing. That's true. High fly ball into left center. That'll be two away. Two out. The way I'm going, it looks like I'm saving them for the season. <laughs> Line drive into center field, another base hit wasted, and that's all for Hank Aaron in the fifth. And the score at the end of five innings of play, Hank Aaron two, Duke Snyder, nothing. Henry, when you're swinging in a ball game for base hits, would you prefer hitting against a left-handed pitcher? I prefer hitting against a right-handed pitcher. Either for base hits or for distance? It doesn't make any difference. I prefer seeing a right-handed any day. Here's Duke Snyder. No pitch. Fans were in the top half of the sixth inning. Duke Snyder up. The score. Hank Aaron, two. Duke Snyder, nothing. High fly ball going back deep into right field. Away back. Away back and oh, yes, it's the home run for Snyder. That ball hit in the trees and bounced back. Now the ruling is if it is over the brick wall, it's a home run, 
or if it hits in the top of the trees that would go over had not the trees impeded the progress, it's also a homer, and that's one for the Duke. Two to one now. The plate umpire, the umpire in chief, is in complete charge of any ball game. He calls them. One away. One out. That ball was well tagged, Hank. Yeah, it's a good thing he didn't get it up and stayed in fat territory. Yes, yeah, sir, that would have gone. Yeah. Been two in a row if he had. Round ball. There are two outs. Two away. Duke Snyder with a home run here in the top half of the sixth inning. Hank Aaron still out in front, two to one. High fly ball into shallow right field. And that'll be all for the Duke. Three outs. Picked up a run, however, in the top half of the sixth inning. And the score going into the bottom of the sixth is Hank Aaron two, Duke Snyder one. Duke, that one must have felt pretty good. Well, it did, Mark. It, uh, a little close. It hit the top of that palm tree, and I was beginning to wonder if it was going to go or not. Well, it went. Home run. High fly ball way deep in center field, away back. But it's caught. One away. One out. Cole, that one you'd been one more behind. That's right. He, uh, the ball was out away from him a little bit, and he had to go that way with it. That's one good thing about this contest. If it's a strike, you got to swing at it, so you can't wait. High fly ball back deep into left field. Way back and gone over the left field wall. It's a three to one ball game. High pop up, two Ooh, away. Ouch. Had he pulled that first one, he would have had two in a row there. It's a good chance of it, Mark. It, uh, it's tough to determine if it would have gone over, but I, it looked like it was far enough. Two out in the sixth, three to one. Ground ball, and that's all for Hank Aaron. But he picks up another home run here in the sixth inning. And the score going into the top half of the seventh is Hank Aaron three, Duke Snyder one. Now let's take time out for a moment. Back to home run derby and the top of the seventh inning. Hank, I think the one you hit to straightaway center field was hit almost better than the one that went over. I don't think that ball in the face when I hit would have gone over the fence, Mark. You don't think so? I don't think so. High fly ball down the right field line. Curving foul. One away. It's three to one. Hank Aaron out in front of Duke Snyder on home run derby where it's a home run or nothing. High fly ball into shallow right center. Two outs. Two Good away. Good thing he got under that one. That was his <laughs> pitch. Yes, it was. Foul tip. And that's all. Three outs. The Duke goes down in the seventh inning. And the score going into the bottom of the seventh is Hank Aaron three, Duke Snyder one. Duke, you had two good pitches to hit at in that inning. I sure did, Mark, and neither one of them went fair. Line drive, one out. One away. High pop up. Two outs. Two away. Good thing to watch is Henry's head and watch how he keeps his eye and head down watching that ball all the time. It'd be good advice for the young boys watching this contest. He keeps his eye on that ball all the way and, and you can't hit what you're not watching and he sure watches it. Pop up, out of play. And that's all for Hank Aaron in the seventh. Three outs. And the score going into the top of the eighth inning is Hank Aaron three, Duke Snyder one. Well, Hank, this is your lowest home run production in the game so far, but you're still out in front. Well, as long as I stay there, Mark, I'm satisfied. Snyder takes that long stride and is a free swinger. Foul ball, one out. One away. That pitch was right in there about where he likes it. Yes, uh, Duke seemed to hit the ball. The high pitch good and the low pitch too good. Ground ball, two outs. Two away. Top of the eighth, Duke Snyder up. The Duke trailing by two. Foul tip. Three outs. And that's all for Snyder. Failed to score in the top half of the eighth inning. And the score going into the bottom of the eighth inning is Hank Aaron three, Duke Snyder one. <laughs> well, Duke, you almost knocked that cameraman right off the platform. That's right. That was the hardest ball I've hit all day, and I <laughs> almost got a cameraman. I, I'll apologize to him after the show, but I don't know where it's going either. <laughs> I don't know why it struck me so funny, but it did. 
Here's Hank Aaron stepping in. Last half of the eighth inning. Aaron out in front, three to one. I think the wonderful thing about baseball, so many t opportunities to laugh and have fun. And Line drive in the out. center. That's true. Uh, you have so much fun in baseball. It, uh, I think that's the one big thing I'm going to miss when I have to retire from the game is the good companionship with the fellows and the fun that you do have. Of course, there are a lot of hardships, too, but... The fun makes up for it. That's right. Line drive in the left, and they're two away. Two outs. Henry's wasting a lot of base hits for the regular season, isn't he? He sure is. He's, he said he's been hitting quite a bit down in Alabama with his brother, so it sure helps. Bouncing ball through the middle for an out. Three outs. And that's all as Hank Aaron goes down in the last half of the eighth inning. And the score going into the top half of the ninth is Hank Aaron three, Duke Snyder one. Well, Henry, to win another $2,000... You've just got to sit here and watch and see if Duke Snyder does not hit any home runs, and Duke's going to be up there trying to do his best to hit him. Yes, I think Duke will. Uh, that's the only thing I got to pull against now is to hope that Duke hits only one. Here's the Duke, top of the ninth, trailing by two home runs, three to one, Hank Aaron leading. I fly ball into right field. One away. One out. Hank, you're making a career out of home run derby. I just hope I can stay on, Ma. Foul ball. Two away. Two outs. Duke Snyder with one more out to go. Hank Aaron leading three home runs to one. Top half of the ninth. High fly ball. Caught for an out. Three outs. And that's all as Hank Aaron wins another one, defeating Duke Snyder by a score of three to one. We'll be back to meet our ball players, talk to them in just a moment. Well, Duke, you've run up against Henry Aaron while he's on a winning streak. That's right, Mark. Uh, Hank is one of the most terrific competitors in the game today. Well, we'd certainly like to have you come back. Will you do it? I sure would. I'd be very happy to. We'll accept this check then for $1,000 with our congratulations. Thank you, Mark. And Hank, good luck to you. And get lots of home runs now in this uh, program, but don't hit any against the Dodgers. Thank you, Newt. <laughs> well, Henry, with this check for $2,000, that makes a total of $10,500 that you've won so far on Home Run Derby. Congratulations. Thank you, Mark. What are you going to do with all that money? Well, you know, I have three children. This will go a long ways towards helping them in their education. That's just wonderful. Well, your next opponent on Home Run Derby will be a fellow who, in his first year in the Major Leagues, won the Rookie of the Year Award in the American League, Bob Allison. Well, he's young and strong, but I just hope I can be ready for him, Mark. I'm sure you will be. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Join us at home plate for another exciting contest when Henry Aaron will meet Bob Allison on Home Run Derby. Home Run Derby is produced with multiple cameras. The players' interviews being recorded simultaneously with the contest.